Hey, it's Matt from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today I'm going to show you a couple different ways to schedule new appointments. Let's get started. Step 1. With any luck, scheduling new appointments will be one of the functions that you perform most often. To add a new appointment, select an opening on the scheduler and press the green plus sign on the function bar. Or, if you want an even quicker way to create a new appointment, simply double click the empty time slot. The new appointment panel will appear. Or even quicker, you can click on an empty time slot and press the insert key on your keyboard. The appointment will be created immediately using all of the default scheduler settings. But please note, this will only create an appointment for the patient that you have currently selected here. Step 2. The new appointment panel is comprised of three tabs, Appointment, Recurrence, and Book for Other Providers. Let's start with the Appointment tab. In most cases, you won't need to change any of this information and can just click OK to create the appointment. The very first field is Patient. This is who the appointment is being booked for. The Incident field refers to the specific incident for which the patient is receiving treatment. The fee code indicates the treatment or service that the patient will be receiving. This field can be left blank if you do not know what you will be charging the patient for at the time of entry. If you do enter a fee code, then simply changing the appointment status to arrived or completed will automatically add this fee to the patient's account. This feature can be toggled by selecting Settings and then Customize Scheduler from the menu bar at the top of your screen. Any fee entered here will become the default for the day when entering the treatment information. The Provider field indicates the member of your treatment staff who will be taking this appointment. The Room field indicates if you will be using a specific room for this appointment. If a special piece of equipment is being booked, Indicate this in the Equipment drop-down. Please note that neither of these fields are required. The date refers to the day of the appointment, which always defaults to the date selected in the scheduler. The start time is the time that the appointment will begin. The time appearing is based on the opening you selected on the schedule when initially creating the new appointment. Duration refers to the length of the appointment this is tied to the end time. Include any additional information you'd like to mention about the appointment in the note section. Use the color field to assign a color to the appointment. The list of colors come from the scheme you created during setup, i.e. how to customize the scheduler. Most clinics use color to indicate the patient type or program. A default appointment color can be selected for the patient in the Incidents tab of their client profile. And lastly, Treatment Location refers to where the treatment will be provided. This is only used if the treatment is taking place outside of the clinic, either at an off-site location, such as school, or at a home. Take note of the At Home checkbox. Use it if the patient will be receiving treatment at home. You can also use the Confirm checkbox if the patient has already confirmed their appointment. Press OK to create the appointment. A cautionary dialog box will appear if there are any scheduling conflicts or inconsistencies with your new appointment. You can tell if an appointment has been confirmed by this small icon in the appointment cell here. Step 3. Next up is the Recurrence tab. If this is going to be a recurring appointment, you can make note of it right here. Use the top half of the panel to fill in some details about the recurrence. This appointment only occurs once, will have been checked off by default. To enable the recurrence, select one of the four options below. Select, this appointment occurs on these days of the week if this appointment will take place on a weekly basis. You can then choose the days of the week that apply. If the appointment will recur on a monthly basis, you can select the second option and choose which day of the month the appointment will be taking place. If the appointment recurs after a fixed number of weeks, you can make the designation here in the third option. 
And lastly, if the appointment recurs on the first, second, third, or fourth week of each month, you can make that distinction here. The section below allows you to select how long the appointment will be recurring for. You can choose whether it will be recurring for a certain number of days, weeks, or months using the first field. You can designate a certain date that the appointment will recur until below. Then, use the three boxes below to make some specifications about whether you wish to allow overbooking, prevent automatic booking when a scheduling conflict exists, or copy the notes from this appointment to all of the other appointments moving forward. Step 4. The final tab that we'll be looking at is Book for Other Providers. This is to be used if you are booking this patient for multiple providers at the exact same time. Instead of having to repeat this booking for each provider, it simply needs to be created once and then you can indicate if it applies to other selected providers as well. Step 5. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you today is how to edit an appointment after it's been created. Begin by selecting the appointment, then edit selected appointment from the function bar. This reveals the edit appointment panel where you can edit specific details about the appointment. You can also reach this panel by right clicking the appointment and clicking edit selected appointment. If you are editing a recurring appointment, you will be asked whether these changes only apply to this appointment or all recurring appointments. Make your selection accordingly. And if you simply need to move an appointment, you can click on the appointment in the scheduler and drag it to an opening. You can also lengthen an appointment by clicking your mouse on, on the bottom edge and dragging the appointment longer or shorter. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the other accelerated learning videos at practiceperfectemr.com. See you soon.